Kristen Helsel, Director of EV Solutions for Aero Environment, a company that has long been at the forefront of battery charging technology, wants to help the public understand what the world will be like for an electric plug-in future. In the late 1980s and early 1990s, AeroVironment did the impact, which became the EV1. So we were there for sort of the first big production EV program. And uh, I think we were we were leaders. I, I actually recently saw an EV1 and was amazed at what a great car it was and would still be uh, really something people would love today. Uh, so uh, th that's sort of an exciting thing. But uh, what what's happened, I think, in 20 years are a few things. First of all, the technology has improved. Um, you know, we stayed in the space a long time and we've watched the evolution of batteries and the evolution of the technology that sort of allow for uh, sort of a mass market of an EV uh, solution around the world. And what I see today is that um, every major automaker that uh, we work with around the world has an EV product or multiple EV products coming. So I don't think that that was the case in uh, 1989. Uh, the other thing that's changed, I would say, has to do with um, where the consumer is. I think that the consumer is more um, aware of the importance of uh, EVs, more aware of the role that they play in uh, dependence on foreign oil and in global climate change. So I think that it's sort of a combined effort of both the OEM uh, car manufacturer side, the battery uh, being ready, uh, the utilities being prepared for this coming EV revolution, and the consumer really wanting the product. And so all of that together uh, puts a lot of momentum behind the EV uh, effort that I don't think was there uh, when General Motors did the EV1 alone. You're looking at the possibility that you know there'll be thousands of electric vehicles of some type on the road that need to be charged uh, in about a year and a half. And so one of the biggest questions that we come across is what will this EV space look like? What will the chargers in the home look like? What will the chargers that you find at work or outside of a retail location look like? And, and how will I connect with those? Literally, what will the plug-in look like and where will the plug be on the car? So I think uh, it. one of the things we do when we attend trade shows like Plug-in 2009 is to make real for people what this will be like so that they can see what the chargers will look like, they can try them, experience them, so that they won't be surprised at all uh, in a year or so when they start showing up on their streets and uh, near, their, near their homes and when they begin to see EVs on the road. At AeroVironment, we are really uh, about the practical adoption of electric vehicles. So we have worked very hard to provide both on-road and on-board solutions. The on-board solutions are to help the uh, car manufacturer make EVs a reality, and it's things like on-board chargers, battery management systems, battery pack design and development. And then on the on-road side, we're working very hard on chargers that can be used in the home, on the street, uh, at a fueling station, maybe at a gas station or a, or a service plaza. So our, our whole uh, reason for having EV solutions is to help to provide those answers and, and, and to support uh, the EV revolution as we call it.